Two. Well, 18 cars taking the green flag with us in the main event here tonight. Matt Howard, Evan Martin looking for that green flag down in turn number four. Well, it's going to be Evan Martin having the early lead. Belm slams the door shut on Jenaton. Here comes more racing alongside the five of Bales. Well, it's Evan Martin setting sail on the field here in the early going. Belm racing his way alongside that 37 of Howard. Well, Jenaton, the 51 of Moore, locked up in a great battle for the number four position out front. It is all Evan Martin. Jonathan Cornell, Miles Paulus, Corey Bales, and good battle. Brian Grams looking to the outside of O'Neill, turn number four. Well, already Evan Martin closing on the rear of the field. He's got the 75E of Brock Elliott in the crosshairs off turn number four. Matt Howard doing a great job holding on to the runner opposition over Cal Belm and the 51 of Moore. Well, Evan Martin clears Elliott, now sets his sights on the 86 of Tim Smith. Well, Kyle Baum works to the outside of Elliott. He'll clear into turn number three. Then it's going to be Arrington Jenaton and the 35 of Cornell. Jenaton looking high side of Belm. Nothing doing off turn number two. Belm a sliding wide turn four. It's going to be Jenaton taking the number three position. Well, Jonathan Cornell able to make a move on Cal Baum down in turn number four. Well, Martin continuing to drive away from the field. Howard holds the second spot, followed by Jenaton Cornell now into the number four position.
Well, some great racing action all over the speedway. Well, don't look now, but the uh, field reeling in. Evan Martin, Howard Jenaton, and Cornell all making up some serious ground on your race leader, the number four of Evan Martin. Jenaton now starting to apply the pressure to Howard for the runner-up spot. And it's Jenaton making a move on Howard for the runner-up spot. Only five to go this time. Well, Evan Martin continuing to show the way. Jenaton closing in a hurry. We've got four to go. Well, Martin working right through the middle of the speedway. He's got Ben Brown to deal with yellow flag, yellow flag. Turn number four, yellow flag, turn four. Well, we've got caution in the air. All right, one to go, one to go. Give it to the field this time. A single foul restart at that orange cone of the legs.
Well, Eddie Franco excited down in Victor Lane about to get an opportunity to speak with one of his favorite sprint car racers, Errington Jenneton, a two-time winner. Ooh. All right, everybody, give him a round of applause. The driver number three, it's Errington Jenneton. Hey, congratulations, Aaron. You did a whale of a job, buddy. It was a smoker out there. Yeah, you know, I knew the top was going to be better there at the start, and uh, Bellum kind of blocked my line, and it killed me. I really didn't know if I'd be able to get to him when the rubber came in, and luckily, I don't know what happened to Evan, if his right rear was going flat or what, but uh, my motor was like 250, 260. When we got that yelling, I was like, oh, that ain't good, but uh, man, it's just been a long season. We've had a lot of close races and almost wins, and uh, Get it like that and the rubber down and pass it them like that. It just felt really good. There you go. You got some people you don't thank. Yeah, you know, I thank uh, Bob, Steve, my dad, uh, all my crew, my friends, EOR, uh, Ozark Barge and Dock, Martin Metal. Uh, yeah, Wet, wet Steps and uh, Ozark Bait and Tackle, Maxim, Westmar, and uh, everyone else that helps. All right, I got him. All right. All right, everybody, give me a round of applause. Ayrton Jenneton. Again, congratulations to the Ayrton Jenneton and his team for the win tonight. It's Grassroot Racing at its finest. Now, I will tell you guys, that right rear tire, yeah, it doesn't have very much uh, air, uh, tread left on it. I definitely think it's going to go into the rubbish pile, a burn pile if somebody wants to burn it, or take it home with you. All right, coming up in here, the next, the 2019 360 Sprint Car Class Champion. They are also sponsored by Oh, we're rolling backward. All right, congratulations. Mr. John Cornell on your win of the championship sponsored by Port Arrowhead. Yeah, thanks everybody for being out here tonight. I know it's a long night with a lot of classes, so we'll make it short. But, uh, you know, it wasn't the greatest season for us with wins, but we were pretty consistent. We ran up front a lot. And we enjoy coming down here, so it feels really good to get the points championship and uh, actually makes it feel like we accomplished something this year, you know, without having a lot of wins. But can't thank everybody enough, uh, Chatty and Chad. Um, Kelly, my dad, all of the crew there. Don Long with Searsboro Telephone Company for supplying our own engines. Um, Cattle Line Builder, Starline Brass, Jaeger Cycle Sales, r and Construction, uh, Peak Sport and Spine, Bop and Feed Service, uh, Bryant Motors, everybody there. You know, that's what makes us go around these circles, and I can't thank them enough, and I uh, couldn't do it without them. All right. Congratulations to 2019 Lodge of Port Arrowhead 360 champion, Jonathan Cornell.
Well, congratulations, Jonathan Cornell, our 2019 Longitude Port Arrowhead Champion. It is your Millard Family Chapel Late Model Main Event. 20 Lambert, 20 Lambert.